Welcome back to Living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm your host, Tim Barnes, and today we are going to be telling you about some <clears throat> things about moving to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and what you need to do to get ready to move here. I'm also joined with somebody that you haven't met before, unless you're a regular subscriber, probably. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, start now by hitting that subscribe button and clicking that little notification bell so in turn you can get all of these videos that we're bringing to you every single week and this is joe who are you what are you doing on my channel i am the guy that is going to be uh be, be taking over everything that you have to <laughs> that i mean? don't believe this guy <laughs> to save my life uh, but today we're going to be telling you about what you need to do so in turn, you can get here and that you get everything transferred. Joe, what do you got for him? Tell him some of the first things. So one of the first things, um, you know, and probably something that uh, a lot of the moms would get and the dads wouldn't, gather all the medical dental records from your family, transfer all your prescriptions, find a good pharmacy, and don't forget about your pets either. I'm sure they have some, some stuff to bring over too. I so that's it. probably number one number that I look at. I like it. I like it. Number two. Number two on that list is going to be get a knowledgeable realtor, get qualified, and get looking for a new home. That's me. You'll never work with Joe. You'll always work directly with me. That's a total lie. You'll probably they most said, likely work with Joe. Because they said knowledgeable so... realtor. They want to work with knowledgeable realtors, this guy, Timothy. This guy. You believe this? So this is what's happened. i got to tell you really, really quickly is I've gotten so busy, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for watching the channel, is that I had to bring in somebody else so in turn I could help to service you guys. Uh, this last weekend we had three couples in, we went to church with them, uh, we went to dinner with them, we went to lunch with them, and we even went to church with them and it was absolutely awesome to get to hang out with such genuine people like you guys that are thinking about moving here in Tulsa from around the country. So uh, again, Make sure that you get a knowledgeable realtor like us, like living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are the first, the one, the only boots on ground, and we will show you what it's like to live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, show you the neighborhoods, show you the great places to eat, show you where to go explore, and show you all the goods, the bads, and the ugly. What else do we got for him, Joe? Well, and before we get into the what else, I want to I wanna harp a little bit more on the knowledgeable realtor part because in the beginning, for the people that have bought, you understand how important that it is to have a knowledgeable realtor for the people that have not bought not one realtor is this not not every realtor is the same I didn't understand that whenever I first bought so I think that this really needs to be hammered home I was extremely fortunate to where we had realtor we had a realtor that we knew and they broke down the process for us and they were able to negotiate on our better behalf dramatically. So, and most importantly, they got us hooked up with great lenders, they got us hooked up with a great closing company, and the process was smooth. It's Good kind stuff. of a headache with all the paperwork, not gonna lie to you there. There's no getting out of that, but for the most part, it was smooth. I like so, it. That's yeah. pretty good stuff. This is why Joe's here with this. This is why Joe Crab is gonna be part of living in Tulsa, Oklahoma, moving forward from here. And so again, if you haven't met him, tell him who you are really quickly. So my, my um, I started off in manufacturing. Uh, that was a part of my life for a good six years. I was running an aerospace company. Um, hated every minute of it, not gonna lie to you. Uh, manufacturing is not where my heart was. Um, I found out that real estate was going to be where my path ended up at, but I knew there was a few steps that we had to get through in order to get where I am right now. Um, so I just hunkered down, got my wife, Chansey, through school, and here I am today. That's short end of who I am. I love it. I love it. And thank you so much. I appreciate everything that you're doing for me. And Absolutely. doing for Likewise. us and growing this company. 
I also Likewise. remember too, we're always hiring. We are growing. We've got more and more people that we're bringing into this business because we've got multiple businesses and we're serving you guys in this channel to show you everything that there is to show you about Tulsa. Remember too, next week we're going to actually be in the field showing you some of the streets and things like that. So if there's Ooh, anything, yeah. if there's anything that you want us to show, let us know because we will probably go there and shoot it for you boots on ground. Yeah, super important. We need you guys' feedback to keep you guys engaged, but most importantly, getting you guys what you need informed. to hear. Informed. Yes, informed. absolutely. Informed. Absolutely informed. Yeah. So going on to the next thing. Um, Order and prepare. Order and prepare moving supplies such as boxes, tape, bubble wrap money, saving tip. Okay. Ask your local grocer, and this is what we did all the time. We used to run behind the one of these... Uh, these big complexes of stores and that has your old navies and hobby lobbies and things like that and and your justice just for girls and all of these different stores and we'd say hey they're just throw their boxes away so we go back we'd go talk to them they'd send us back or they would even hold the boxes for us at some of your dollar generals and things like that man that's a great idea yeah yeah and you can get the boxes that's exactly what we did really for sure Golly, that's how that we save me every a lot time. of money dude you want to save money just go ask the stores just be like hey what are you doing with your boxes they're like oh we're throwing them away literally throwing them away or they're like interesting recycling them yeah so i like that it's pretty good stuff i like that mm -hmm. number so, four get rid of all of your clutter we all have clutter this and is we all hate moving what is it divorce hate and hate, hate Divorce. Divorce and moving. Divorce Everybody and moving. hates both. Divorce right? and moving. Yeah, those are the worst, right? Doesn't really matter when so you die. So get rid of everything you don't want to move. Have garage sales. Give it to your friend. I love it. Donate to a shelter. That's I cannot great. stress that part enough. Don't Please donate Absolutely. to the people that need it the most. I like that one. That one's great. Cancel your memberships that you're not going to be using in that state and or see if they're transferable. Especially like a gym membership or something like that. Yes, perfect, perfect. Any memberships. Yep. And how many memberships do we have these days? Like 50. I mean, you got to keep your Netflix one. Absolutely. Like yeah, everybody loves you, a little you bit You can just the Disney one, though. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Number five. Number five would be schedule to transfer all utilities. Make sure that you get all of your utilities transferred. Um, you know, we've got a list of utility companies here in the area that will help you get you set up so that whenever we do find that perfect home for you we can start getting those utilities set up in the new names and you can start to have your scheduled if you're selling your home and or if you're just moving from a lease or something like that a very very easy transition for you yeah and I yeah for sure and we have processes in place that we're gonna make everything so simple for you guys listen moving from state to state is horrifying absolutely horrifying so in turn we have we have made processes for you guys um, you know, for instance, it's going down to the utility companies in that area. We'll provide that information to Number six. Obviously, always try to establish a good relation with your banking company. Um, close all accounts that you have if it's not transferable for that state, if it's not a national company. Um, and I like to do business with uh, small locals. I don't know about you, Tim, but I, don't like, I definitely like to invest in the locals for sure. I absolutely. Number seven, make sure that whenever you do come here, that you get your new driver's license. I know that you're going to run out of time. You're going to have a, uh, a grace period where you're going to get yours, but we can get you to any title company or uh, we can get you with any tag agency. So in turn, you can get that transition pretty quickly. So in turn, you're not you know driving down the road a year, and then all of a sudden you forgot to get your tag and your, and your new license, your new driver's license, in your new state. This way that you'll already have it. So we can help you get all of those things. Number eight. Most importantly, do not forget to register to vote. Man, I can't remember how many times I've moved out of state and I forgot to vote, which would be, well, I've never, I've never moved out of state <laughs> and forgot to register to vote because this is Oklahoma and we, I think we all vote. That's not we true. Do. A we lot do of us do vote. vote. Most Gotta vote. Like this is a get the vote out thing. Yeah. You should have like, hey, make sure that you put like, get the vote out. Yeah, yeah, get the, get a link in there or something. <laughs> get a link in there. Get the vote out. Um, let's see. No. Right. Oh, this one's a little bit here and there. Check the weather. For the most part, we can broadcast the next two hours. But past that, it's kind of a if In Oklahoma, they say if you don't like the weather, just wait a few days. You're right. You are correct and it will on change. that. We just literally went from negative 18 and 20. 
I've never even heard of this. I thought whenever people told me this up north that they were like lying. I was like, oh yeah, I'm sure it was like negative 50 degrees up there. Literally, I swear to you on on my on my uh, grandma that it was negative 18, negative 20 degrees wind chill factor, zero degrees. We even had negative two actual degrees here one week ago, and it was awesome for one day. And then we were like, wait a minute, like we want summer to be here. We want to be in spring because yeah. we're like 20 days from spring. Mm -hmm. And yep. it was frigid, and literally one week, one one week later, from Tuesday to Tuesday, it was 75 and sunny in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Midwest. <laughs> that, uh, that's that's right. That's sure. right. And then one more thing I do want to hit on in regards to weather. When is tornado season? Ooh, I do know when tornado season is. You know why? Because I've lived here all my freaking life, and I know... That tornadoes really aren't as bad as you're thinking they are. Like, everybody gets a little scared. They're like, dude, I, I like Oklahoma. I like th how those guys are, but I don't like those tornadoes. They could just swallow me up and, like, spit me out somewhere. Oh, they come out of nowhere, right? There's no warning. <laughs> no, just just no, swoop out of the sky and get That is not you. what happens. You have way, way, you have a, a ton of warning. Our news stations, 2, 6, 8, 23, all of those stations are always going to be broadcasting through radio everywhere you can think about letting you know there is a tornado that could happen there's a tornado that will happen there is a tornado on the ground and it's tracking your way and you have x amount of time to get out of its way uh, now we do have smart tornadoes and they take the turnpike every single time <laughs> <laughs> that is true but the chance of you actually getting hit by a tornado in tulsa oklahoma area and our surroundings is less than one percent very unlikely very unlikely. Have you ever been hit by a tornado? By, by a tornado? I haven't. Do you know of anyone that's been hit by a tornado? No, I don't. Oh, I've never been hit by a tornado. And I don't know anybody that has been hit by a tornado in like... like Ever. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I've seen some people, I mean... Now, you do have the storm chaser out there, and everybody in Oklahoma... I actually like the storm chasers. I everybody in like, Oklahoma those guys are pretty cool. We'll watch the is tornadoes a storm go chaser. Oh, crazy. my goodness. We, we're all outside. Listen, I'm sure whenever you hear tornado, <laughs> you you're like, oh, my God, take cover. That's it's great. the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Worst thing in the world. No, that's not true. Everybody's outside with their camera saying, watch this. It's pretty, it's pretty unique. Um, let's see... We're tracking it by, look, look, check this out. I think <laughs> yeah. it's like an F3. Is that an F3? <laughs> yeah. It does. Uh, it only looks like an F1 from here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to look at it out here. Cost of living here. Dude, we're like 10% below the national average. Did you I know that? believe it. I believe it 100%. 10% below the national average. That means that you could literally make 10% less than what you're making now and, and have a great lifestyle. Interesting. Percent. Well... 10% of 50,000, you know, is 5,000 dollars less a year. It's 5,000 bucks. If somebody's making 200,000 dollars, that's literally 20,000 dollars less that you could be making. 20,000 dollars more that you could be spending on something else. But yeah. think about too, 10% of everything going down and you making potentially 10% more. Yeah, that's that a could 20 be a game increase. changer. Absolutely. Can, well, think about the swing. What if you what if you spent 10,000 dollars less and made 10,000 dollars more? Now you're talking about a 20,000 or a 20% gain. Yeah, absolutely. That is life changing. That's crazy. That is. You should move. You should move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I agree. And don't use Tim. Use me. You'll use both of us. Use both of us. Use Tim Barnes with living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now joined by this guy, Joe Crab, and we will help you guys. Boots on ground. I promise you. Next week, you're going to see us in the field. If there's something that you want to see, make sure that you get a hold of us, and that we and we'll go out there and we will shoot it for you. And uh, make sure that you smash that like button if you haven't already smashed that like button because we need it. It helps the algorithm. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Click that little notification bell because it's going to get you our videos every single week. And we've got a surprise extra video that we're going to start dropping for you here within Ooh. the next two, next two to three weeks. We're going to be dropping a new video series on Thursdays. You don't want to miss this one. Selling okay. Tulsa. You're going to absolutely love it. Joe's going to be a big Ooh. part of it. And yeah, sometimes buddy. you'll see Joe without me. Make sure that you subscribe. You're going to want to catch every Monday and every Thursday within the next two to three weeks. We're going to be coming out. We're doing a lot of shooting right now, and we will help you guys move into the Tulsa area. And if you're already in the Tulsa area and you don't know us and you'd like to, make sure that you subscribe again and get a hold of us because we could definitely help you guys move in or around the uh, metropolitan area and or into the suburbs. We will catch you next time. Joe, tell them what they need to do. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. See ya. See ya.